Oh. So I've, got I've got five Molotovs. There. Ooh, there's some guys in the tree lines. Some of right them are up. going real far away. Yeah. What's their deal, anyway? Boop. Yeah. It's really easy to see the one guy with the flashlight there. He keeps flickering. I think it's a bad lighting effect, actually. I don't think we're supposed to be able to see it from this side. There are also some people on the left going to the right. There are two groups right now. Yes, there are, because there wow. are two leaders. There is, like, eight of these guys right now. But I think at least one group for sure gave up on us. The other one's a little close still. But they're not looking. Man, they are delaying our our logging like no one's business. All right, uh, everyone stand away from. Uh, oh, there's a cudgel on the ground here. Everyone stand away from the the garden. I think there's inviso thistle in it, which means it needs to be burned out of the garden. Which means I need to use a Molotov. A lighter can't do it. All right, let's hope I don't miss. <laughs> There we go, that got it. Yep, something invisible is burning, so that worked. It was thistle. Good, because I don't like having herbs not growing in my fucking garden, because that means I can't make medicine. Mm -hmm. And medicine's kind of important. Although it's more important in single player, where, you know, you get knocked out, and that might just be it for you. Sometimes they'll take you to an underground pit, though. Oh, they're coming back. Alright, I'm switching back to another Molotov. It's inviso raining. Oh no! Which at least fills up our stock of water. Look! I point to my right. Oh. <laughs> the bird went away, I did it. Yeah, the it lighting did. effects on our face is really bad when you put a Molotov up to it. Yep. Oh yeah. It's like, hey, you're just a. I heard a more saturated. Of some sort. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. That is a loud one. God, they are just really hanging around us. They're getting so aggressive. I can't believe we've still only seen regular cannibals. Some of them are getting really close right now. All right, you guys keep an eye on them for a second. What's that? Antagonize him with a rock? Yeah, antagonize him with a rock. Um, hey, I ain't no one to fuck with. <laughs> I built a simple effigy in the water. I think you're supposed to light it on fire, but I put it in the water. <laughs> Oops. Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. You can still light the head on fire. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm sure they'll get the message. You know, we have a lot of limbs we can use. Let's, uh, let's do one of the more expensive effigies. We need a bunch of arms on that one. Let's, uh, let's get body chopping. I've got two on me already. Their arms just laying around camp. Pick those up, you get, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Fuck. Uh. Anyone have a or, stick they can put on this thing? Or, or like how, um, um... How Bubs was talking to Marzipan that one time. I have no sticks. And and um Bob mm -hmm. said to her it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg marzipan not a problem <laughs> are, are uh, we a... oh no there's some arms funny okay apparently we don't actually need more sticks i'm stupid i just saw that we needed more sticks because i uh because we have that one camp across the entire world map that it thinks we really want to finish yep it's like hey you really want to build this there we Really, really. They built more effigies around us, and I think they're the booze effigies. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Always use more booze. Yep, it was another booze effigy. Isn't it? You can drink booze. 
Lowers energy. Okay, don't drink booze. <laughs> don't drink booze, it just makes you tired and lazy. Oh, and this one had cloth in it. And there's another one over here. Looks like they're finally out of our area. Man, they were uh, intrusive that night. Yeah, I did see a couple to our right, um, but they may be gone now. So yeah, we really need to get logging done. They're really hampering our uh, ability to work. They're really harshing our mellows. Yeah. Really, not a single fucking rabbit in our trap. If this were don't starve. Uh, I think I just got hit by something. Uh. Might have been me. Yeah, it might have been Shally. She's like right next to me. Oh, there are effigies over here too. It's just hard to see with the lighting. God, so what's priority now, bonfire or wall? Uh, bonfire, I guess, just because we can finish it quick. Oh my god! Go ahead and to... Oh, what? Where? Where? I just triggered the trap. Oh, oh! I thought you meant they're like enemies. Man, um, Shelly, I don't know if it's like this for you too, but has the garden mm -hmm. been burning for like a day now? No, no, there's just nothing ever in the garden. For He's me. been burning for a day. You're caught on fire, and then nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah. Oh. Damn it. I might need to make a new garden. This garden's bugged. <laughs> There's a starving cannibal to your left, Shelly. Yeah. Just FYI. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, fuck you, dear. Oh, got away. The one that got away. Ow. I should make more energy yeah, mixes. Here. Oh god, my you stomach's constantly Sweet. growling in real life, and I'm fucking hungry. But this is like my only opportunity to record for sure. I don't know how long, so I gotta record. I take the opportunity. I don't even know how long we've been going for. Honestly, I I, uh, I thought I would have hours less than this. I'm just getting lucky. Well, that tree landed on a deer, and the deer is fine. Realistic. Yeah. Realistic video game. Then again, the deer are so powerful that they routinely, routinely leap through the ground and come back out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The huge. Normal everyday physics. Another piece of the wall done. Ooh. I have... Do I have a suit? Yeah. Oh my god, I do. I have a pile of seeded... Or de-shelled sunflower seeds. Ah, beautiful. Delicious, slightly salted, and a big spoon. <laughs> Normally I have a rule. Do not mm. eat while recording. Especially yeah. if the food has any kind of crunch or noise to it. But I'm fucking hungry, and people have been asking for more of the forest. People have been really liking it. And this might be our only chance to record it for God knows how long, because our schedules never meet up. Nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. Well, meet up a lot less now that, like, my schedule is... Hey guys, I just found it today, I'm gonna have two hours to record! Oh. Hope everyone else is free! I love sunflower seeds so much. They're so good. Fucking awesome. And they're good for you. Although these are probably too heavily salted. Still good for me. Ch 
Sheep and filling. Sheep filling and healthy. Seeds are awesome. You wonder why they don't fill as much and don't starve. Yeah, it is kind of bullshit, actually. I mean, sunflower seeds are a big part of my diet. I eat sunflower seeds all the time. I love it. Like, if you don't get sick of food, and I don't get sick of food, like, I can eat the same meal over and over and not get sick of it. It's just how I am with food. Um, I can feed myself for days off a container of sunflower seeds. For me, it really, really depends. Like, I don't get sick of potatoes ever. Well, ever. no human should ever get sick of potatoes. It is the most versatile uh, vegetable. I maintain that there is not a meal on Earth in which you couldn't have some form of potato with the meal that would go along with it perfectly. That's true. There are just a thousand different ways to prepare, uh, prepare to potato. I almost said tomato. You say tomato, I say potato. Yes. Let's call the whole thing off. Fuck. You're fired. I would just eat sunflower seeds constantly to save money. But, uh... A, need more balance in your diet. I need more balance in my diet, yeah. Yeah. That much of anything is hard to digest, and it is like... It's not like sunflower seeds has every nutrient your body needs. And exactly. also... The store-bought ones I get, they're cheap, and they're good, but they come with a lot of salt on them, and I don't want to give myself a heart attack. If I were yeah. eating nothing but this all day, every day, it would be horrible for my heart. I'm already a stressed-out guy as it is. Don't want to increase my, my chance of heart attack. Yeah, probably not a good idea, no. Yeah. Well, the initial wall is done. Nice. We might as well do our cabin. And then after that, I'm thinking more work on the wall. And when we're satisfied with the wall, we uh, we start doing a bridge. See if we can get that working. Now, if we want to be really badass, I believe you can make a treehouse and have bridges going from treehouse to treehouse. That does sound badass. Is that a starving cannibal? Where? They're cannibals running towards camp, and they're not starving. Whoa, that guy's got like two skulls on his back. Hello. Between where you are and I am. One of them just attacked me straight up. I'm about to go down. Okay, okay, we're coming. I don't have much stamina, but I have four Molotovs. Wow, that guy looks like he's a high rank. <laughs> hey, buddy! Yeah, he does. Did I get him? I got him, he's on fire. Nice. What are you coming in the camp? Are I'm you gonna safe? Heal myself. Yeah, I'm more or less. Okay. Okay. Let's oh, see. I don't have any more meds. You went down. You killed him. Yeah, the Molotov killed him. Millie, you killed him. Millie just jumped yeah, on the back of my chair. Ah, God, Millie, you tail whipped me in the eye. Your defense was lowered. Yeah, it was. It fucking was. Nice. Well, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Was there really only two guys? I don't know. The huh, one guy I was medicine. Like, I could have sworn really I had like three more. Like equipped. Holy crap. Like this guy has. Like... I like how there's no animation for the trap yet. It just teleports. Oh yeah. Maybe we should be leaving bodies on the trap. Hmm. Maybe to bait them. Yeah. Yeah. See, this guy was decked out, man. Maybe to debate them. Yeah, holy shit, look at this. Alright, we're having real food issues right now. I don't know about you guys, but I have no food on me anymore. I just ate my last snacky bar. Oh yeah, I Someone haven't had snacks. any food on me for a while. Okay, let's get some logs over here and like start like two more gardens. Hopefully gardens that grow things. Yeah, other than, like, thistle and fire. Right now our garden is growing fire. It's very good at growing fire. I like how it says small garden. There's no other kind of garden right now. Guessing there will be later. 
Okay, we need four logs so we can get two more gardens. Four logs. Well, mm. I, I they built an effigy it. before we kicked their ass. <laughs> I started cutting a tree. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Yeah. Except that I was the Fire Nation, because Molotovs. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> we're, uh, we're fire benders. Lot twist. Ah. Here's a partially chopped tree. Right, but what I was going to say before, uh, a long time ago, but we got distracted by, like, cannibals. When I say I don't get t tired of food, I mean no, I don't get tired of food. Like, once a couple years ago, my mom was going to Hong Kong for a month straight. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to be me at home. I'm not the greatest cook in the world, she knows that, and she knows that, like, you know, I can't exactly go... Uh, I can't exactly drive to the grocery store and get groceries because I, I can't drive. Right, exactly. And I yeah. can't I can't navigate by myself or anything because cerebral palsy, so she just had to stock up on a bunch of food for me. She went really overboard, honestly. She gets paranoid about that stuff. But she ended up getting, like, she made, like, a bunch of homemade hamburger patties, put them in the deep freezer at the old place. This, is, of course, was at the old place. This was, like, years ago. And, uh... Right. And she put, like, 15 patties in there. And then, like, you know, she froze a, a big pot of chili and, like, all kinds of stuff. When she came back, most of the food was still there, honestly. Like, she, I ate a lot less than... She really overprepared. Um, Much less than she thought you would, yeah. She, um... She overprepared, but... What she was confused about, and I don't know how she was confused about it, because she's been my mother for my entire life, of course... And she knows that I don't get tired of food, even though she made me this huge variety. Literally what I did was, the day she was gone, I went to the deep freezer, and I was like, um, what, what's in here? Hamburger patties. So, I picked up the, the hamburger patties. I taught myself how to use the barbecue that day, because I had never used a barbecue. Right. So I just, so I literally just got the patties, let them thaw. Um, uh, scavengers to our right, by the way. Okay. Um, how oh, many? Oh, yeah, I've seen them. Two of them, it looks like. Uh, three? There's three. three. Yeah. My guy's still having big hunger problems. I don't really have any energy. Let me eat a energy mix. Okay, it's my last energy mix, but at least I have energy. Hey, now. buddies. Oh, I see them. You must be careful. We're at the Fire Nation. God, that crouch walk. Right? The crouch walk's amazing. They're just, they just keep walking. I think they're not going to stop here. Anyway, hamburger patties. Hamburger patties. So they're like 15 or something, hamburger patties. So I just let them thaw. Grabbed one, threw it on the barbecue, lit it on fire. I literally of course, as you do. Lit, lit the patty on fire. Let it be on fire for about five minutes. Put it out. <laughs> Uh, so the entire outside was, like, charred, and the inside was well-cooked, because I like meat really, really dry. Right. And then I put on a patty, or put on a bun, uh, cut up some tomato, put that on it, ate it, and uh, that was my dinner for about, I think, like, the first week and a half, was just eating a few hamburgers every day. And then after I ran out of hamburgers, I was like, okay, what's the next item in here? Chili. So I heated up chili for, my, for every, for literally every meal for another couple days. You kind of ran the gauntlet. Yeah, th that's how I eat. Like, I'll wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I'm hungry. Time for breakfast. I grab a patty out of the freezer, light up the barbecue. <laughs> and then the next I day. I do that for about three or four days at a time. And then I'm like, eh, it's time for something new. Yeah, I just don't get tired of it. I just do it until I run out of food. So, I, I don't care. I can eat these seeds forever. I think the guys are gone, by the way. Yeah, let's log some more. Yeah. Hours into this game. Whoa, hey! Was that supposed to be um, Raj or Taj or something from Diddy Kong Racing? Oh, no, I forgot about that.